You can really do that in Canva? What? Hey guys, I'm Kate Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. My goal is to help the online entrepreneur DIY their designs in less time so they can look good online and get back to doing more of what they love. In today's episode of Kate's Canva Hacks, I'm going to show you how you can insert photos, textures, patterns into text on Canva. I'll meet you over there. Okay, so I'm in Canva and I just have a blank workspace. And there's really only one way to insert photos or textures into text on Canva. And it's really only this one font that you can do it with. It's not even really a font, it's a frame. But you'll come over to the search and type in the letters of the word that you want to spell. So we're just going to spell fun because it's just a fun little hack. And I'm going to go find all the letters. And you have to pick the ones with this little scenery because these are frames that you can insert pictures into. Alright, and once you find all your letters, go ahead and line them up. Don't worry about the size yet. One thing Canva does not have is an auto align, so you have to drag around and um, use those smart guides to line it up. So then you'll just drag and select them all, and you can use this little corner node right here to um, resize them. And I can kind of see that U looks like it needs to be spaced over a little bit. I'm going to use my arrow tools. Okay. And then come over to your uploads and upload a photo or a texture that you want to insert in here. And you have to insert it into each one individually. One thing to note is it won't let you pick anything with a transparent background, so like that would not go in. You could um, put this on a separate blank workspace, download it as a PNG, or, and then re-upload it and put it in. Um, but I have this one that's pretty to use, so I'll just insert that. You can double click if you want to resize it or move it around. This one's just pretty easy to line up because it's got that darker across the top. But I could go in and resize it to where this letter is using the right side. This letter is more in the middle of it, and then this letter is using the left side, so that way it sort of looks like it was all one piece. And it's also fun to do with something like this. Or something with flowers would be pretty. You can also upload a gold metallic -y pattern. Like this. Or if I wanted to use something like these stripes. Since it's transparent, we could just do what I said to drag it across there. I can download this one, just that page. It's downloading. Do, do, do. Take a sip of my coffee while we wait. Then upload it. It now has a background, so I could insert it into it. And that's just a fun way to insert photos and patterns and textures into words in Canva. As you can see, this is a bit limited as to how you can use this on Canva versus if you are in Photoshop, you can pretty much do this with any font you choose. 
Um, and if that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for good vibes so you can stay up to date on my latest design tips and tricks for the online entrepreneur so I will save you time so you can get back to doing what you love in your business.